I've been working remotely on the Galapagos for the last 25 years, published a few papers, had some wonderful collaborations with people, but I've never been down there. This year happens to coincide with the 200th anniversary of the birth of Charles Darwin. It's also the 150th anniversary of the publication of The Origin of Species. To celebrate that, the Charles Darwin Foundation is holding an international symposium. They've invited me to come down. I'm going to present a paper on my perspective of the Galapagos over the last 25 years as a satellite oceanographer. I wrote a proposal to NASA to study the ocean, ocean color, in particular the Eastern Pacific, using this new satellite that they had. And that's where my research started. Just at that time, in the 82-83 period, this was the, the biggest El Nino of the century. And here I am sitting on a data set that captured for the first time the impact on a very large scale of El Nino. Having that perspective in space and watching this event develop over time revealed things that we'd never seen before. So they've invited me to come down, so I'm really excited about it. Of all the places in the world, there's probably no place like the Galapagos for a number of different reasons. The volcanic islands in the middle of the ocean, they're about a thousand kilometers to the west of South America, and they sit right on the equator. And because of that unique position, they are influenced by some very, very unique oceanographic conditions. Because of their isolation, it's been a place where evolution could run rampant and very quickly. It's the only place in the world where you'll find tropical, subtropical, and you know, almost Antarctic species because of the unique environment. It's the only place where you'll find penguins and coral reefs in the same location. Darwin spent five weeks in the Galapagos. Most people admit that if it had not been for those five weeks in the Galapagos and the things that he had seen there, that he probably would not have come up with the origin of species and the theory of evolution. What he saw in the Galapagos critically changed the way he viewed the way species evolved. It's been a really strange realization that I'm actually gonna finally get to go to the Galapagos. I feel like I know them, but I know them from a distance. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel. It's exciting, it's a little scary, um, because I think I know about the place, but, but maybe I really don't. You know, my perspective has been from 600 kilometers up in space, um, but I'm gonna get real up close and personal with lava fields and upwelling of the equatorial undercurrent and the winds and the waves and, and the tortoises. And uh, it's, it's, I won't say it's a dream come true, but it's uh, something that I've, I've thought about for years and years and years, and I just can't believe that I'm actually gonna finally do it.